Hey guys, so we are sitting at a wine bar. Last night, we got engaged. Yeah! We actually didn't vlog at all yesterday, so I still do have a vlog that I need to put up from Thursday. So Wednesday was a traveling day. Thursday, I still have to put up. I'm gonna put it up today. And then we didn't vlog at all yesterday. We just had like a really nice day, just the two of us. And then today's 4th of July, which is Saturday, which you guys probably won't see this one until tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah. What? Wait, were you talking to Wait, now? what? Alex ran in to get a couple of bags of ice, and we also got sparklers for tonight, which is gonna be really fun. It's just gonna be a very sparkly night, if you know what I mean. I wanna tell you guys everything. He, oh my gosh, I like wanna sit down and just tell you guys like how he did it. He was, it was like the most beautiful proposal ever. He like took me out onto the beach, told me that he had like built a set for us to take pictures. And so when he first took me out to the beach, there was this like really cute pillows and candles everywhere. And I thought it was for the pictures, which isn't completely out of character for him either. I didn't question it too much, but I did vlog. So I'll put that clip in right here. This is so pretty. That's, now that's a loaded gun. Don't point that oh, thing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just, just like start easing it out. And then just like. <laughs> okay, that went like. Pretty far. And we poured some champagne and we sat down and I did not know that Blair was filming all of this from the bushes. Where we were, there was a lot of dunes and shrubbery and stuff. So she was hidden and she was filming us. I'm hiding. With just my camera and a little bit of my eyeballs above sand. And then I spotted an elix in their natural habitat. Actually, this isn't their natural habitat. He told me that he wrote me a song. And the thing about Alex and I are our entire relationship has been told through song because he announced to me that he liked me. He confessed liking me through the song Secret Girl. And then when we broke up the first time, he wrote the entire Wake Up Call album. And if you listen to the lyrics, it's a lot of it is about like heartbreak and like regret and missing someone and then he proposed with a song so he remember when he wanted that boom box like really badly from Walmart so he had the boom box out there and he played the song oh my god he's gonna play the song <gasps> oh. and then he proposed and it was just so the whole thing was just so magical and he is going to release the song he wrote it just for me and then after the proposal we were talking about it and I told him that I really thought he should finish it because it's just a rough cut finish it and release it and so he's gonna do that um, when he gets back to LA he's gonna finish it because right now it's really rough like it was he wanted me to hear it raw but that's not how he releases his songs so. we're unstoppable we're unstoppable I find myself drifting off The ocean view is steady enough I catch your light I've been chasing for a thousand days A thousand nights I cried so many times. I cried at least three different times. And I kept getting emotional and like I kept crying more. Like it was just, it was insane. I think he cried too. My mom and dad were crying. He asked my dad's blessing the night that we went to the movies. So the night before the proposal, um, which it all makes sense now because he wanted a boys night with my dad, which was like a little bit weird because he didn't want to come to the movies with us. And it all adds up now. And the fact that he wanted to vlog a little bit on this trip and like he never wants to vlog. It just makes so much sense now. And I am just so happy. I wanted to tell you guys like right away, but then we decided yesterday would be like our day and we would keep it to ourselves and then tell you guys today, which is Saturday the 4th. So we're going home now and we're going to have dinner with the entire family and we're gonna go watch fireworks and we got sparklers and it's gonna be so fun. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys the story. I love you, bye. Look at all of these fun goodies I have for 4th of July. You guys know how I am about my festive holidays. I get very excited about all holidays. So I have fun flag sunglasses for everyone. A bunch of people already took theirs, but these are what's left. And then I got glow in the dark, 
stars and flags for everyone and I got some metallic body tattoos in red white and blue and then this is my mom's because she's the princess so she gets a special one all for herself and then my planners right there because you know love my planner hi there so I'm sitting here on the sofa with Anne-Marie hey guys and the entire family is over in the kitchen they are making ribs and corn although I don't think I'm gonna eat anything because I have been hung over all day the entire family's here we have cousins we have aunts and uncles when I came down here I have a sweater on and it's it's a long sweater but it doesn't look like I have pants on but I do I do but it looks like I don't and I came down the steps and I was like I have pants on and everyone looks at me like but do you which is bizarre because like I've never not look how festive there are two doggies on the porch my Aunt Cherry has a very festive shirt on and Sorry, Alex! So I'm gonna, Betsy, I'm gonna sit out here with the girls so they don't try to go through the screaming portion. <laughs> Alex, get over here with your glasses. <laughs> Come show the vlog. You look so cute. What's done? This. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a nerd. It goes from cool to dumb real fast. You really don't. How many of these do you have? Enough for everybody? No, Can just one for else? mom because she's the princess. Oh, okay. Yeah, only mom. I didn't get you a princess head band, Why not? Alex. Why not? Because <laughs> I was only for mom the princess. The princess? Yeah. Like a princess with an F. It's a Fowler princess, a princess with an F. All right, Betsy, show us what you made. All right, this is cold corn salad with feta cheese and cilantro and tomatoes, which the cucumbers, and I know some people don't like cilantro, then don't eat it. Yum. And you have seven rice ribs that's slow roasted for four and a half hours today. Dang, good job, Betsy. Betsy is the best yeah, cook that, ever, so ever, ever, ever. And this looks so delicious. Yeah, are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Now I'm gonna cut them. Alex, are you already eating? Mac and cheese. Where did it count? Oh. Real food. Oh, oh, okay. You can't see us right now. Oh, oh, oh you could see us for a second. You'll be able to see us for like half a second at a time. Yeah, but we're standing on the beach watching the fireworks and we just wanted to say hi. Hi. It is really pretty, oh my goodness. Oh babe, look at those. For everyone that is not watching fireworks right now, here's your show. Wow. Mama has her feather thing on her head. I got it. Dad, let me see your whirly dirly. Oh yeah! Wow! <laughs> Don't catch your hat on fire! You look like one of those baton twirlers. I just wanted to get on here and say good night. It's been a really amazing day. We just got back from the fireworks. It was really dark so you couldn't really see anything, but we are going to go to sleep now and wake up tomorrow and have a brand new day. So I just, I didn't want to like cut the vlog off without saying bye because I feel like I did that the first two vlogs. So this one I'm going to say toodaloo and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.